Ladies and gentlemen, we are a little bit behind the schedule, so please bear with me for the refreshment break. We will make some special arrangement for that. And for the next speaker, we have Professor Dr. Suneo Yamada from the Open University of Japan, or OUJ. He will give a presentation in the topic of nationwide and global services for sharing quality lifelong learning content in Japan. So please join me to welcome Professor Dr. Suneo Yamada. Okay, uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm uh, very pleased and honored uh, to be here and to have presentation to you. And um, I'd like to express a special thank to uh, Thailand local team um, for giving me um, uh, this uh, very valuable opportunity. Okay, uh, so um, uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce my uh, organization. So uh, my organization is a Center for ICT and Distance Education at Open University of Japan. Uh, this is a very new uh, institute uh, of our university. I, I worked for NIME, as you may know, National Institute of Multimedia Education, for 12 years. Uh, but um, NIME was disappeared uh, four months ago in the midst of uh, government administrative reform. So very kindly, uh, OUJ, Open University of Japan, accepted uh, so all of us as an institute in, in their framework. So um, at the moment, so our mission, uh, so we are two major area uh, in our mission. So one is as an institute of OUJ. Uh, OUJ is um, so regarded by the government as a national center of lifelong, learn lifelong learning in Japan. Uh, so as an institute of OUJ, uh, so we participate in academic activities as the faculty members, and we should have uh, uh, research or innovation of learning, and also um, we support uh, various ICT activities or implementation in OUJ. And, but um, I, I have still so uh, operations uh, from uh, from nine, so uh, facilitation of ICT enhanced education in Japanese higher education. So all of uh, to all of Japanese university and colleges, and uh, international or domestic survey for government, and also a uh, facilitation of internationalization and international collaboration in Japan for Japanese in Japanese higher educational institutions. So. This is our, my standpoint. So I'd like to move my uh, main theme. So, um, so we think, uh, so accumulation and utilization of quality learning resources is a key factor for sustainable lifelong learning. So to realize the open access uh, some special agreement and infrastructure are necessary. So I'm working at um, so uh, Open University. So uh, so right hand of the circles. So Open Education, and we are focusing on Open Educational Resource Movement, and we are just uh, constructing or maintain a global domestic infrastructure for sharing and reuse of open and proprietary uh, content. So this is our, my, our recognition. So on the uh, content in lifelong learning. So although uh, the quality issues still remain, but a huge number of learning content has been accumulated in the repositories all over the world. 
So uh, you can see many examples in OER movement, uh, open educational resources movement. But now, in addition to open content, the delivery of proprietary learning objects are also now focused. And more complicated access control is required. So anyway, so uh, users have to visit many sites and to compare information on the content among pages in order to find their most appropriate content. Uh, so you, you know, uh, so, we, so this is example of OER movement, Open Courseware Consortium, uh, OECD or UNESCO was also commitment and um, American Foundation or uh, many open university has also commitment with uh, OER movement. So how can we find the most appropriate content from deep web? So when course provider, in, in, uh, course provider develop uh, their courses, courseware, and the teachers prepare uh, classroom materials, and learners, autonomous learners, search uh, suitable content. So, one of, um, so we think one of the solutions is a global, uh, cross-institutional, uh, sorry, and this, uh, long spelling, institutional search. So NIME uh, launched uh, nationwide uh, the national portals uh, for a na nationwide infrastructure for sharing digital learning resources uh, five years ago, we called NIME Grant. At that time, our institute was a national center for higher education in the field of uh, ICT implementation or ICT enhanced education. So uh, we are collecting uh, metadata from other organizations, uh, so college, uh, university, or other institutions. And sometimes uh, we, we got just only the information of the content, and we tag the metadata in our institute and aggregate metadata set. So as a result, so when the user, so the users of our search engine, so uh, um, and to uh, to put in the keyword, so they can realize, yeah, uh, they can so realize cross institu cross institutional search. So we are collecting metadata from university and colleges. And we are a very big, huge uh, metadata database. As a result, so uh, we can rewrite such cross-institutional search. But this is a very simple uh, uh, aggregation model of metadata. So be very primitive stage. So as you may know, uh, maybe uh, most of you know metadata. So metadata is like this one. So. Uh, outside of the uh, file, so we cannot know the content. But if we label of this, so we, uh, without opening the can, we know the content. Then this slide is uh, it's not mine. Uh, so I, I showed this uh, slide is also an uh, example or a shareable learning object or uh, open content. So this is not mine, but uh, this is a very good slide, so my, one of my favorite, so I use. So, uh, so this is an um, image of metadata. So this is an also an analogy of, uh, uh, so um, in the library, so a uh, librarian so make a, me uh, index card for each book. So this relationship is, um, uh, is a kind of analogy to uh, the relationship between learning content and the metadata also. So uh, our system is based on uh, IEEE learning object metadata version 1.0. This is the one of the standard of the metadata. 
And uh, but uh, we we collected um, uh, metadata in Japan, but uh, uh, we had not we had not uh, reached the critical mass. So at that time, uh, we we uh, we plan. So um, if we have uh, international collaboration among uh, similar organizations or similar function, so uh, we can uh, our access to uh, quality content is much uh, more. So in, in such, uh, under the such uh, viewpoint, so we uh, launched new international uh, collaboration we called GROVE. So um, this is also, uh, so we talked, uh, uh, we started the discussion in 2003 or 2004 so at that time, so uh, each member, so uh, over including overseas member, so um, so each member an orientation to contribute to global knowledge-based society. And uh, each organization has has a mission to promote educational improvement, and through providing uh, high-quality learning materials and educational information. And each organization being asked, has been asked to be a regional gateway or hub in Europe, North America, uh, Australia, and Japan. And, but uh, all of us felt drastically increased in the needs and the demand for learning materials, uh, but limited financial and human resources. So all of us so, so wanted to uh, have had necessity of a new strategy to reach critical mass. So um, sep on September 2004, Ariadne in uh, European Union and Education.au Limited in, in Australia and Edisos Canada and Merlo United States and NIME was uh, launched a global learning object brokered uh, uh, sorry, broker the exchange. The after that, uh, Keris in Korea, or European School Net, uh, that an American com community who are running object, and the Kosuru uh, Utah State University uh, joined in 2007, and 2008, uh, IIII in Taiwan, and ISKMI uh, in the United States joined. And this year, so I'm very pleased to announce TCU, also a member of GROVE. So um, we are now 12 organizations and try to share the metadata to realize global uh, cross-institutional search. So um, this is an example, so a federated search. So this, uh, this is a screenshot of a nine grad English. So uh, this is a, uh, so, you so, so you could not see this screen anymore. So uh, in this um, homepage, so we, we prepared such kind of federated search function. So, um, you cannot show, uh, it say Naim, Merlo, Roanet uh, in Canada, uh, and Edona is the uh, uh, so portal of education.au limited in Australia, and Ariadne in AU, uh, EU. So um, if you check, so in the organizations, you can, so you can uh, search the content cross-institutionally. And the way we adopted uh, to federated search to realize such cross-institutional such systems. So, um, so one of our users so uh, so input the keyword to our search engines. So Nymegrad search engines so search. So the content in our database, but at the same time, uh, our search engines 
our search systems send query to another organization's search engines. And each organization's search engines uh, find the content, uh, search, and they send back to their search result to our search systems. After that, so we are, our systems merged all of the search result and return to uh, our user. So, so using such uh, federated search, uh, we realized uh, global, uh, global search mecha uh, mechanism. So this, uh, this is a uh, screenshot of exam uh, search result. So now, uh, five years uh, passed since uh, we launched uh, Grove Consortium. So uh, we, we found the new needs and the new value-added service, uh, new need for new value-added services. So um, we are just discussions on the shareable issues in each context. And also, uh, this is a technical issues, so large scale problems uh, we, we have. So uh, at the beginning, so we have just only five organizations, but uh, we are, have now 12 organizations, and the number is increasing. So we need some new architecture for global search. And also, uh, we need a new, new governance or sustainability also. So when I consider such new uh, a new mid-term plan. So we are seeing uh, this kind of the future use cases. So for learners, so, so after getting such kind of uh, new group 2.0 systems, a learner need not to consider the optimality of the learning content. So by referring to learners profile and context, the computer find the most appropriate modules from the content repository all over the world. And for the teachers, the teacher can find the most appropriate materials uh, which he or she uses the classroom by consulting with the knowledge base on the pedagogy, quality, right, and other information. So uh, they can concentrate in learning or teaching various contexts, including uh, social, uh, social context also. Mm. So, uh, so now uh, we have a discussion in the advanced search, uh, quality assurance, uh, optimization or recommendation function, and right management and localization. Then when consider, uh, we promote so such international um, collaborations, uh, localization issues very, uh, very, sensi very sensitive issues. So um, uh, group consortium is, is based on multilingualism and multiculturalism and pluralism, uh, but uh, we have still uh, found such many differences among organizations. And if we have a new, uh, new members from uh, other regions, for example, Arabic countries or African countries. Uh, maybe we have um, cultural different deep diversity will be much bigger. So uh, we need some uh, uh, so shareable uh, philosophy or concept will be uh, indispensable. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> and so, um, so, so in observing the discussion of the group councils, so we, uh, we mean uh, code OUJ, is also uh, reconstructing our um, search systems. So at the NIME, so we are uh, called NIME grant, but uh, we cannot use NIME at the moment, so we should rename the search engine. And also, um, 
Just now, so uh, many Japanese university or college uh, building uh, institutional repositories. So this situation is uh, quite behind from comparing with uh, American or European university. But um, at the moment, so in Japan, so many university had just constructing such uh, institutional repository. So uh, we all we are now reach to the stage. Uh, considering uh, we are in which we, are, we, we can consider the federation of Japanese domestic repositories and referatory. And also uh, the result of our, so, um, our surveys, uh, our customers so also need uh, new value added services. So um, in Japan also, so some professors had a very strong, uh, a very strong supporter to OER movement, but um, others are very uh, not. Uh, they are reluctant to to engage uh, to, uh, to have engagement in uh, OER movement. So. As a national center, we need both functions, so, uh, so we need such kind of quality management or processing. And also uh, quality, assurance is, uh, quality assurance of uh, content and metadata is, is also very important. And now uh, we are the member of the Open University, so we also need some new framework in open education or lifelong, run, lifelong learning. So as you know, uh, the content of open university is not open. Uh, open. So, uh, so we, we also, in this context also, we need some uh, framework to process both uh, open and proprietary content. <coughs> so uh, I'd like to show uh, two examples. So uh, we are now uh, customizing our search in engines, but we will make, um, uh, this is the future uh, features, uh, uh, so we are uh, making um, features of our new search engines we are just developing. Uh, one is the customized search engine, a customized search engine customized to um, uh, user uh, and uh, metadata extension, so uh, covering both open and proprietary content, and we also need a quality information, quality evaluation, and pedagogical and learning information. So, for example, so we provide such functions, Japan Open Courseware Consortium. In their page, so this is a Japanese story, but uh, they say, uh, it say, it means J-O-C-W cross-institutional cross search. So uh, our institute provides such kind of uh, search function to partner. And uh, so, um, at the moment, so uh, we are under the collaboration with Japan Open Courseware Consortiums. Uh, we are uh, making metadata and to keep uh, restore in, in both metadata referatory. And uh, JOCW also RSS feed to Open Courseware Consortium uh, database to our metadata. And so, um, so maybe you can uh, search an JOCW con content by uh, OCW consortium search page. Also, uh, we also uh, provide this metadata to other group members, uh, some of our group members. So. Um, 
when you so use uh, one of the search engine of group member, so you can access. So we make this kind of search route um, many. So to realize such kind of functions, so we are make we have a central metadata database, but we should uh, make a subset of the metadata. For, for example, for JOCW or Globe Harvester or something. So this is a, a example of the customized uh, so uh, search uh, engine. So each of our partner need uh, such function uh, so uh, appropriate in their own context. So we should customize our search engine to their context. And another example, uh, this is uh, on the information on quality. So this character is maybe too small to read from, from you, so I, I will read. So we have an accreditation council for practical ability. Uh, in Japan. Uh, so, so, uh, so, in, so industry and the corporation want to outsource a training program. So it's this tendency is strengthened after uh, the, the long-term recession in Japan. And they also reutilize their original resources uh, because industry or corporation has uh, develop their own content for uh, corporate training. Uh, so, uh, so they want to find some place to uh, for their uh, uti utilization. And if, or university or training sectors want to meet more industries needs to labor. So in order to accept to new student, for example, from uh, industry. And um, corporate workers and independent learners want to get more skills and knowledge and certificate and degrees, their promotion or their job seeking. And they need guide and consultation from their lifelong learning. So, um, this organization so was established to promote so sharing resources between academia and industries. So they uh, developed so occupational database uh, containing uh, competency each uh, occupation need. So as a result, they have a standard skill metrics and skill description. And based on this standard skill metrics, they certify the training course or uh, training institutions as a neutral organization. As a result, they have a skill course matching table. And uh, if uh, the runners, the end users of these systems, uh, hope, uh, want to some certificate for their pra uh, practical abilities, uh, this organization also issues some certificate. So uh, they have, uh, at the moment, three, uh, three skill categories, so ICT skills, uh, business skills, and language. And for example, so, uh, Sorry, uh, this is um, too small. The example of skill description. So category, system, fundament, uh, this is a ICT, ICT area. Uh, system fundamentals, skill subcategory, operating system, skill items, Windows XP, professional basic, and skill component in installation of Windows XP. So skill description can install the XP professional and confirm the action or something. So they have, uh, 2,000 or 3,000 of such skill component. And they make, uh, so this line shows such skill, ma skill, ma skill description. And this row is uh, uh, occupation. 
So system development, IT administration, operation, customer service, some sales, administrative stuff or something. So they make this kind of uh, matrix between skills and job. So uh, this um, skill matrix was uh, are now open their um, homepage, so you can you can uh, find very easily. <coughs> so um, in so you so in our so I, I as I just mentioned, uh, we are restructuring our new search systems. Uh, we call it gross tentatively. So in this metadata systems, we add to new uh, items uh, comparing with uh, before. So for example, 19th right category value. So, uh, so we can, uh, so a user can uh, describe their, these conditions. Uh, for example, a creative commons category, blah, 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 something. And quality category values, so, uh, 20s, so, ACPA, so Accreditation Council of Practical Ability, ACPA, uh, so um, credit uh, and certify the courses. So, so we can describe such uh, result in these metadata items. So uh, using this kind of uh, metadata systems, so user can uh, search the content from the right, right, uh, right condition or quality condition. So, so we cannot show uh, at the moment, so just we are developing this kind of uh, systems now. So um, we hope a new system will be open at the next uh, September or October. And this is my uh, last slide. So very uh, short conclusions. So today I introduced a framework to share and reuse with educationally assured uh, quality content globally. So our search system is uh, many differences b between commercial search systems like uh, Google or so Yahoo or something. So, um, so the point is uh, educator or education related people uh, build up our global search systems. So in this meaning, so we have uh, minimized so quality assurance, uh, so uh, kept, kept and in, uh, we believe. So uh, we have, um, uh, this is just announcement, so we have the first uh, OUJ group seminars will be held in the next October. So everybody welcome. So if you're interested in group activities or uh, the intention to uh, join group, so please uh, join us. So thank you very much. <laughs>